Hi, I'm Jack Barnwell of Barnwell Landscape on Mackinac Island. We are out here on the north shore of Mackinac Island on the back side at British Landing at my house of all places. Finally getting a chance to plant some flowers and do some things out here which rarely happens and uh, certainly happens toward the tail end of planting season. But uh, this year we're right in the middle of planting season and we snuck away to get a little bit done out here planting up some flowers and stuff, doing up the pots, planting some things into the beds. You can see we still have a lot of tulips and things blooming out here in some of my perennial beds, which are a mess, so don't look too close. They still need a lot of work, always. But uh, we're gonna do up this one little window box on my super cute little shed, and thought it'd be fun to show you how I go about doing a, kind of a classic little um, window box here. It's got a galvanized metal liner. We put liners in a lot of our boxes, especially if they're made out of wood, uh, to protect the wood, keep them from rotting, and then there's a ton of drainage built into the bottom of it. So it drains really well. We've got some really nice proven winners um, potting soil here that's a lot really peaty and fluffy and great shape there. Um, you can see I've kept the uh, soil level down a couple inches because I'm going to put a lot of plant material in here and bring it right up uh, about a half an inch down is the goal. Um, so uh, we're gonna start with, uh, this isn't gonna be a super complex window box or anything. I kinda like the classic, uh, you know, two to three plant look out here. Um, this is a 110 year old log cabin, so I don't like to get too funky, although I have my weaknesses. Um, so uh, we're gonna start with some just classic geraniums, red geraniums, these are boldly dark red, really dark red. You can just about squeeze the purple out of that red. It's such a deep, deep red. And um, so when doing a box or something like this, I like to, uh, you know, lay out the plants, um, you know, always in kind of a zigzag, never a real straight row, like soldiers or anything, a zigzag in, keeping them kind of toward the back and the middle as we zig through the box here. And I've got a couple of extra, so I'll kind of squeeze these in. There's always room for a couple more, always. So we've got those laid out through there. And I always lay them out, kind of first get my space for that layer. And then I always just make a big mess. You'll notice I'm not tickling or ripping at the roots at all. I just place them in nice, bury them in. Okay, the reason that we don't tickle the roots is this is where all the magic happens. These are the feeder roots. This, they're super, super important to the plant, uh, especially in these early stages of growth. And if we rip at them and tear those roots apart while planting, it's gonna put that plant into shock and slow it right down. It's just not gonna be a good start for that annual to get the season going. Um, believe it or not, this geranium would be better off if I just ripped its head off rather than ripping at its roots. It'll be, it, it, I know, it's hard. Some of you are thinking, how could you do that to that poor geranium? But it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. It's actually gonna be better than if I had ripped at its roots. So, geraniums are in, they're ready to go. I had a couple other different things here Orange is usually a little bit of a risky color. People steer away from orange a lot, but I love it. And especially with this deep, deep red in that geranium, with the purple in there, it works, it works for me. So the orange and the purple, super contrasting colors. And uh, so we've got Dark Night is a lobularia. Really, really impressive. It's not your grandmother's alyssum by any means. Lobularia gets huge, big, billowing, beautiful, lush flowers. Will flower all summer long. Really intense, deep purple color. And then these super bells, dreamsicle super bells. These guys will kind of bush. They're more of your filler. They'll trail as well. So I'm gonna put those in next. Kind of zig a few. I only have three of them because they do get pretty good size. So I was going to sort of space those out and they're going to kind of bush up. Put those in, spacing them out kind of evenly. 
And you can see as I'm going, the, uh, the soil level is starting to raise up a little bit. I left it kind of low at first, but now it's starting to get higher and higher and higher. So we got those two elements in. Our last element is gonna be this purple, dark night lobularia, deep purple color there. Space those through. Looking good, looking good. Again, I'm gonna pop those right out of the pots easy. And I'm kinda angling those in as I plant, letting them get started right away, right over the edge like that. Letting them spill out, because that's what they wanna do. They wanna just go, a big purple wave flowing out of this box. So we sort of angle them out there. That'll let the geraniums get sort of taller and you know, spiky in the back with their big red flowers. That dreamsicle super bell will fill and fluff and trail a bit. And then the, the uh, dark night will really fill in the front. So we've got a nice red, orange, purple combo here, which seems like an odd combo, but it's really gonna work. And later this summer when this fills in, actually it's gonna fill in pretty good in just a couple of weeks. Um, we'll show you some pictures because it's gonna look sweet.